not that smart that I can see 50 years ahead and, and see which technology is going to be the most efficient. But ultimately, I don't think anyone can. Ask the solar people and they'll say solar panels are great. Ask the wind turbine people and they'll say wind turbines are great. But the point is, we should be funding all of those possibly great alternatives. And it's okay that most of them are going to fail because the ones that won't fail are the ones that are going to be powering the rest of the 21st century. If we look at potential from an engineering point of view, it's very clearly solar that has the greatest potential. It could actually cover the entire energy consumption of the world from just one hour of sunshine on this planet. Or to put it differently, if we put out the current effectiveness of solar panels on just 2.6% of the air of the Sahara, we could cover the entire world energy consumption. Now, of course, we wouldn't do that because we want it different places. And we also have the question of, of, of storage. And there's a lot of other issues that we need to fix, most of which is the economic point that solar panels are still about 10 times as expensive as fossil fuels. And that leads us to the second point. Which of these many different possible green technologies are the most sustainable in the long run economically? That's a very different question, and unfortunately not one that I know the answer to, and I don't think anyone knows. We can't predict what is going to become of the effectiveness over the next 50 years. That's why we should be investing in research and development on all of these different technologies. We don't know which one is going to win, if you will, but that's okay, because some of them will very likely win, and those are the ones that are going to be powering the rest of the 21st century.